The last hard question. If you could give one piece of advice to someone who wants to become a doctor, it doesn't have to be in India, it doesn't have to be in the United States, just anybody who wants to become a doctor, what is that piece of advice? So first, I'll go with in general advice, not, not pertaining to medicine or being a doctor. So mm -hmm. pursue or do what you, uh, you like enjoying, like mm -hmm. uh, you enjoy doing. Because in the future, if you go 10 years down the lane, I like I personally ask this question to a lot of doctors, even my uncle who is practicing here. Mm -hmm. uh, like, they everybody had the same answer, and I felt the same thing. That if you are doing something you which you like, you won't feel that you are working every day. You are just doing something which you like every day. You're playing. Yes, it's that's not work, it's that's play. being on autopilot mode, and just you go, you you do something which you like, mm -hmm. and you come back home, and you are always like you already uh, you are always in a good. Uh, mental condition yeah. like mental status that 100%. you have you are not stressing enough yes so that is the first thing I would say now regarding medicine if you are thinking of medicine like you have decided that you want to pursue medicine mm -hmm. being consistent is and hope keeping hope hope in the sense uh, you have to be a believer in yourself mm -hmm. that you can do it and you have if you have a good family support then I I, I bet that you can do that without failing and that's how I made it here until here and I, if I will make it in future too that's just because of my family support and the mm -hmm. hope and the belief my I would uh, get I would say a single word that is my belief system that my mom and dad and the family support yeah. and the, uh, the belief which I have in myself that's uh, how it keeps going so first off, figure out that it's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. If you're stressed out every time you study something in medicine or you don't like it, mm -hmm. you know, you're not going to want to do that every day. You're yeah. not going to put in the 16 hour days. You're just, you're just not. Yeah. If it's some, if it feels like play, yes. now, I'm not saying that studying medicine is not hard work. It is hard work and you don't always want to do it, mm -hmm. but when you're doing it to any degree, if that feels like play, yes. you know, you're getting your experience, you're working as a medical assistant, you're getting your experience and you get to talk to a patient and you just you could do that forever yeah then you're in the right field yes okay you should enjoy what you are doing and enjoy that's what how you're doing be on autopilot mode i would say autopilot <laughs> yeah and so yeah. like once you've decided that then he says be consistent because being consistent so is very is the key thing like the usmle exams which we took i took all three exams in the duration of uh, two years i started in um, may of 2021 and I completed my uh, step three in May of 2023. So that's two years and I took all my exams. Uh, those who are preparing for USMLE or who have done USMLE, they, they might be aware that uh, to take all these exams in this certain amount of time, it's uh, difficult and it requires consistency yeah. while you are practicing, like you are doing some practice at your home yeah. and preparing for your exam and you want to come here and do, uh, get some US clinical experience. Everything being together and uh, being like finishing all these things, it requires your dedication and being consistent throughout the journey. So you need to believe in yourself. You need to have a good support from your friends too. I would like to thank my friend circle. Yeah, like we prepared absolutely. for all the exams together, and oh, that's, that's how great. I would say they, they were one of the key reasons I was able to make it mm -hmm. happen in this uh, short consistency, period. camaraderie, yes. everyone doing the same thing. Same thing. You can't there do it alone. There was always a healthy competition with, between us. Oh, I won't say good. that. I won't say that there was even a competition. There was always a discussion we used to do, like everyone. Healthy competition. Yeah, healthy yeah. competition. I would like that's a word which which we, which can which I can toss here, mm -hmm. but we would keep like we would push each other. Like some days I would feel like oh, okay, I am not able to do this, or mm -hmm. I just want a break. We yeah. would push each other in yes. everything, and that's how we made. We all, all uh, like all of us are from our group we, mm -hmm. uh, who were preparing for the journey. We are almost towards the end of the journey, oh, awesome. and we'll begin a new journey from now. So oh. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the journey never ends. Yes. The well, journey. congratulations to you. Congratulations to your whole team of thank you very much. classmates. I, I could definitely vouch for that. In my post back, I had two friends. Oh. I, mean, I mean, I was friends with the whole group, but. Oh. Two friends that I was very consistent with, Jackie and Sukurdi. Wow. Jackie is in medical school. Sukurdi just finished law school. I see. Um, so, and like, it's just something about people going through the struggle with you. Yes. Like he said, you wake up, you don't feel like studying today. Yes. And then there's Sukurdi who's already read the whole chapter and she's taking notes. And you're like, Sukurdi, what the heck? What is wrong with you? But she's just brilliant and she, just, she does that. And that makes me feel inadequate, but in a good way because now I have to do work. Yes. And then maybe she got a 98 and I got a 92. And it's like, all right, I'm fine. And let's say Jackie got a 95, but then it's like my two friends yeah. are doing better than me. 
I don't want to be the worst friend. Mm-hmm. So now I have to study harder on the next one. And, and yeah. maybe I'll beat them. Yeah. You, know, you never beat Sukuri, but maybe I'll beat Jackie. I don't know. But either way, so it's just like you need your teammates. You yes. need your camaraderie and your family if you're lucky enough to have that too. Yes, yes. You are blessed you know? enough if you have someone like you have made these friends through, through the journey. You are blessed enough. Be grateful for, uh, to everyone and be thankful to everyone. Mm-hmm. That's how you make it. And consistency is a big one. So medicine is not something you can cram, yes. unfortunately. For one test, yes. Yes. So here I would like to add in this uh, journey, like not only USML, any journey you prepare for, it's a marathon and not a sprint. So you have to, you so at some part of the track, you have to push hard and at some part of the track, you have to slow down and just yeah. keep walking. But yeah. Baby steps are important than no steps. So just keep working, keep mm-hmm. keep taking a step, and that's how you will make it. But remember, this is a marathon and not a sprint. So it's definitely you have to time. keep working yeah. and uh, you just keep going. Not back off. Yeah. And prioritize health. Yes. Prioritize right. health. Prioritize, prioritize health. sleep. sleep. Sleep is very wow. important. Something you can never tell me. Important. I'm going on about one and a half hours. <laughs> <I'm> definitely <laughs> fading. This is coffee number three. <laughs> um, but yeah, try to prioritize sleep. I don't know. Yeah. Not everybody needs it, I guess. Yeah. But. I really liked, whoops, man, I am tired, I just dropped my cup. Uh, so I really like what you said, I think when I asked you about preparing for the test, mm-hmm. the first thing you said wasn't about studying or like your resources, it was about meditation and taking yes. a jog. Yes. You said first things first, I had my routine, I took my meditation and I took my jog, I got into a good mental state and physical state. Yes. So prioritizing your health is yes. very important when you're doing something yeah. that's going to take you 10 years. Nothing is above yourself, like if something, 100%. if you are doing something and it is not like you are not being satisfied by the end of the day that's not worth doing that yeah so do something which you are like which you enjoy it should be like i would repeat that be on autopilot do something which you enjoy and it shouldn't be uh, like you shouldn't feel that you are just actively making an effort doing that yeah. it should be just passive you are just doing it because you like it or you enjoy doing that yeah you're not watching the clock yes all day you're getting lost in it you know yes. you're trying to learn more so yeah. absolutely yeah. that's how you know you're passionate about something yes I'm not saying there aren't days when you're watching the clock, you want to go do something, you're tired, but at least not all the time. Yes. You know? Yes. Okay. 